begin. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Maffeo and I'm the Director of Traditions for the UC Rally Committee. First things first, whether you are a prospective student, a family member of one, or just anybody at all, I'd like to take this time to formally welcome you to the University of California, Berkeley. For being a student here the past two years, I could say that this university is definitely a place that I call home and it has truly exceeded any expectations that I've had going into my college experience. From, a, from academics, to athletics, to extracurriculars, to research, to school spirit, this university truly has it all. With that being said, school spirit is something that I'd like to talk to you about today. As my position as Director of Traditions um, has definitely connected me with this fundamental aspect of UC Berkeley's campus. So the first tradition that I'd like to talk to you about today is the walking banner ceremony that happens before every home football game. So before every home football game, members of Cal Spirit groups like the UC Rally Committee, Cal Band, the Mike Men, Cheer and Dance, etc., all gather on Upper Sproul Plaza to sing fight songs, do Cal cheers before an audience of students and alumni, and really get everybody excited and hyped up for a big Cal football game. That takes us to the walking banner ceremony where I, as Director of Traditions, lead somewhat of a parade from Upper Sproul Plaza all the way up to California Memorial Stadium. As we pass by famous campus landmarks like the Campanile and the Doe Library and Memorial Glade, we sing Cal songs, say Cal cheers, and take part in some very unique traditions along the way. And this is conducted by not only the UC Rally Committee, but we're joined by Cal Band, Mike Men, Cheer and Dance, etc. Um, I could safely say that this is definitely a very spirited way to get ready for any Cal football game. And it's definitely one of my favorite game day traditions at UC Berkeley's campus. The second tradition that I'd like to talk to you about today involves this guy right here, Pappy Waldorf, and the blindfolding of his statue. So just to give you all some background information on Pappy, Pappy Waldorf was Cal's head football coach from 1947 to 1956. Before Pappy got here, the Cal football team was pretty bad, to say the least. The team was even so bad that the students who ran the athletic department at the time actually fired the head football coach. As such, the Cal job was blacklisted across the entire country as nobody would want to deal with those angry and impatient Cal students. Thankfully, Pappy came over from Northwestern and really saved the program during this time. However, not only was the football team great under his tenure, getting a winning record against Stanford during his years here, but he was also beloved by both the players and the fans. I'm gonna said that after every home football game, he would stand by the north gate of California Memorial Stadium and talk to the fans about what went right during the game, what went wrong, and any plans they had for next week's contest. And he would always thank them for their time and their support of the Cal football program. In addition, he was also beloved by his players, constantly giving them gratitude. And his last words to them before he retired were, I love you all, and I always will. So as you can see, Happy was definitely a beloved figure at UC Berkeley's campus. And he was eventually given this statue right here, next to Faculty Glade in the 90s. However, the tradition of blindfolding a Pappy statue does not convince until the early 2000s where once again, Cal football was doing really, really badly. As such, some Cal students were really trying to find ways to bring luck and spirit back to the Cal football team and really have them do well in their recent contests. So they came here right next to this Pappy statue and saw that Pappy's gaze was looking directly at another statue on Faculty Glade a very distracting statue known as the Last Dryad. So with the innovation and intelligence that Berkeley students are known for, 
they did what any student would do and blindfolded the Pappy statue, thinking that because Pappy was dis if Pappy was blindfolded, he could stop being distracted by the last riot and truly focus on the game at hand. And it turns out their efforts succeeded as they continued to blind old Pappy week after week and Cal football still continued to win games during this time. As such, the tradition of blindfolding the Pappy statue has continued to this day, as it's something as I, director of traditions, leads a formal ceremony um, to blindfold the statue before every home football game. And that's something that we do to really make Pappy focus on the game at hand and give luck and soul spirit to our beloved football team. So, if you found any of these traditions, from walking banner, to blindfolding Fatu statue, to any other tradition that you've heard during your time um, at Cal Day today to be interesting, there's also another, I guess, opportunity that myself as director of traditions has for you. So along with leading these amazing traditions, I'm also in charge of teaching the Cal History Spirit and Traditions Decal, which is a student-run course where you, you could hear about all different aspects of Cal history, ranging from university administration, to OSCE, to Cal Band, to general university history, etc. We definitely cover a wide variety of topics during the class and is definitely both an informative and entertaining experience. So if you found any of these traditions to be interesting and want to learn more, feel free to check us out. Um, and feel free to take the Cal History Spirit and Traditions decal in future semesters. With that being said, I'd once again like to formally welcome you to UC Berkeley, and I hope you all have an amazing Cal Day experience. Go Bears!